the lipstick love it okay. hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so today we are doing a pretty much full face first impressions with the products that i showed you in my marshall's and tj maxx haul so i got this look using those products and yeah this face this expression tells you <laughs> it tells you what you're about to see so before we get into the video if you're new here i'd love to have you join the family so please click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload i upload twice a week and i do mainly beauty videos with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in so if you want to see how i struggled to get this look then stay tuned and keep on watching All right, so I'm gonna jump right into the video. I'm going to put my face primer on first and I'm using this Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. Um, when I did the haul, I showed you guys that I actually found the big bottle of this, but I had this small sample size that I had from another haul, so I wanted to go ahead and use this one since it was already open. I love how this feels. It kind of has that silicone -y feel that like fills in your pores and just helps make everything feel smoother. So it also says that it's hydrating, which of course we know I love. So while we let that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. Well, not fill them in, but set them. This is the Uoma Beauty Brow Fro, and I did find this at Marshall's, and it was $8. This is a tinted brow gel, which normally I just use clear when I fill them in, but this is fine. I don't think it's gonna give it too much color. I filled in my brows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I haven't used that in a while either. I've also been using a um, the Grande Brow Serum because I'm trying to help my tails grow in. I mentioned that in one of my other hauls, so we will see how that goes. I am gonna use this ELF Opposites Attract Eyeshadow Palette. I was so excited to find this. I didn't have a eyeshadow primer that I found, but I do have this Milk makeup flex concealer so i'm probably still going to use this but i did not get this at marshall's i'm cheating but this is the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion i've had this in my drawer forever this is the shade eden and honestly i just want to use it because it's either going to be really good or really bad and i don't know about the texture of this if it's supposed to look like this this is so old Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I ain't putting no crazy stuff on my eyes. I think I just remember feeling like this wasn't pigmented enough for under my eyes. That's the only thing that I didn't really like about it, but I think it wore well. I didn't have it on for a long time that day. I just did my makeup to take pictures, so it blends out nicely. I just think the coverage is more like a medium coverage and I remember I put two layers. So the look we are going for today, I really have no idea. I'm gonna start with Witty. We're gonna take this shade here and I'm gonna do that in my crease. So this is probably gonna lean more towards a cool toned look and I did not set my concealer All right, and then for my lid shade, I'm gonna go in with the shade Clever, which is this one here. It's almost like a grayish kind of lilac. Looks like it has a slight purple to it maybe, or blue, I don't know. What color do you guys see? In I take a little bit on my finger just to see if I can get it to intensify a little bit. 
It looks about the same. So I think that's a good thing because that means that's the actual color picking up on the brush. And then I'm going to take the shade Smooth, which is this one here. I don't want my eye color to be too dark because of, oh well. <laughs> Never mind. That is a lot darker than I thought it was. And I'm glad I did not go in with genuine because that one is probably going to show up like a black. And I'm just blending that in into the shade Clever to kind of give it a gradient effect. So we're going to leave that like that. I don't see any fallout. I'm surprised by that. I guess there's a little bit, but it's not much at all. All right, so we're gonna go in with face products now, and then I'm gonna come back and finish the eyes. For my face, I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. Remember I talked about this. I don't know if they changed, I think somebody commented and said that they changed the packaging, but the name on this is different than what I saw at Sephora. So this is Cappuccino. 27 this is what it looks like this might fit so this is one pump i always start on my i know i'm going to use more than one because because <laughs> i have no idea how this is going to wear what the coverage is like it is a little dark which i'm okay with So this is where we are with two pumps. Pretty good coverage. You can still see a little bit of my dark spots peeking through, but I mean, that's with most foundations that I use anyway. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna apply a little bit more in my problem areas just to cover that up. All right, so I applied about another half a pump just on the lower part of my face. I do feel like maybe it's the primer, I'm not sure, but my skin definitely looks glowy. I don't know if this is gonna dry down any, so we'll see, but so far, so good. Now I'm gonna go back in with the concealer. Yeah, I just remember feeling like this is okay, but like, Either not enough comes out on the applicator or it's just really light, co not light coverage, but it's more medium coverage. So I feel like I have to make it work, build it up more. The sponge that I'm using is one of the velvet sponges that I told you guys about. This is the size of it blown up. It's wet, but it's like only the inside of it is wet and then the outside of it is dry. Really, really weird. There's hardly anything on here. Yeah, it is definitely not picking up as much of the product as my sponges normally do. And I mean, I feel like it's blending it out. I just feel like I need more concealer. Like, I don't really like this concealer. It's just, I have too many other concealers that I like to fight with this. I don't know. I mean, it's my second time using it and I'm just still just like, nope, not my favorite. I don't know that this sponge is actually blending this out. This is, yeah, it is, I guess. I mean, there's a little bit more on there, but I don't know. I feel like it's not picking up as much as my other ones do. And then to set under my eyes, I'm going to use my, I have two options and I'm not sure. I'm going to try this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. This is in Golden Hour. This looks kind of beige and I'm kind of worried it's going to be too light. This is what it looks like. I mean too dark. 
So let's see. Oh no, okay. I don't know about this sponge. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but I just feel like, I don't know. Let me finish my makeup before I snap to quick judgment. It's dry, so I feel like it's not helping the product to like melt into my skin as much. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use this NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is in the shade Sunstone. That's what this looks like. It looks like it's just gonna give some warmth to my face. And I'm just gonna take my powder brush. I don't see that it's adding any color. It is helping to kind of mattify it a little bit. See, why is this like that? Same thing on this side, like it just stuck with that sponge. Ooh, yeah, I don't think I like that sponge. I don't, see, and that's the problem. When you do a full face of first impressions, is it the sponge's fault? Is it the concealer's fault? Is it the powder's fault? I don't know, but all I know is I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Like it's picking up off my nose. I don't know if you guys can see that there. And then here. I'm just gonna try to pat over this to kind of help press it into the skin and smooth it out. I'm gonna go back over everything with my Marc Jacobs Accomplice Powder. You guys also saw this in my haul. This is a lot lighter and it's light reflecting. So I'm gonna go in with this very light handed. And I'm using the brush that came with it. I'm just gonna lightly try to smooth over that. You can definitely see the sheen on that. Not saying that it's a bad thing, but it's different. It is definitely different. So now to bronze. Well, I'm kind of nervous about using this because I know it's dark and I feel like I'm already kind of muddling stuff. This is that Uoma Beauty double take. This is in the shade Honey Honey. So this is the other one that I said I had that is not as dark. So as you can see, it does contour. It's just, I think once I blend it out, it's more of a bronzer. And just, I'm not gonna try to blend it out too much. I want it to stay where I'm putting it. I thought I had Bronze Venus, but no, this is Honey Honey. Ooh, that's darker than I remember the first time I tried it. And then I'm also going to use my NARS Soft Velvet Press Powder. This is in the shade Valley. If you remember, I said this one was really, really dark. So it was probably gonna be more like a contour or a bronzer. And I'm gonna use this one just to set where I Ooh, Barbie, you asking for it. Where I, <laughs> I put the Uoma stick. I'm going to try to go into this very lightly. I'm going to start up here to see. Because if I start on my cheeks, oh, I see the darkness. I'm like barely tapping my brush in here. We are contoured, that is for sure. That is all I'm gonna do with that because this is heavy. For highlighter, I have this Milk Makeup Holographic Stick. You guys saw how excited I was about that. This is in the shade Mars. And I'm going to, we're gonna go straight in. I don't want it, 
to get makeup on it though. I'm using my Morphe M501. Uh, we're just gonna go in. I didn't wanna get makeup on it, but it's fine, it's mine. So you can see that has like a nice little pink shift to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this one and then I'm gonna go over it with the one, the highlighter from the Uomo Beauty stick as well. Cause this is more just like a pink sheen to it. It's still pretty and it's picking up my foundation. That's the other thing I was worried about. So I'm gonna have to get a different brush, maybe like a duo fiber or something that's a little stiffer and try it. But I'm gonna show you guys the Luoma Beauty one. This is what it looks like. And this one just glides on. It doesn't look like it's adding a lot more, so we're not gonna do too much crazy, but you can see it for sure. It almost just gives me like a wet look as opposed to a highlighted look, which is kind of nice, it's different. But, ooh, we are glowing. I like it. For blush, I did not show this in my haul because it was in my travel bag. But when I was on vacation, I found this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush, which you guys know I love, but this is in a different shade. This is in Mauve Sunrise. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply that to the cheeks. Maybe I did show this in a haul. I feel like I remember saying that name before. But this is like a cream to powder, so I think it's going to go really well with what we already have on the face. They're going to play well together. I am glowing. I remember the first time I used that <laughs> Marc Jacobs powder, and I remember feeling this exact same thing, like, whoa. We're going to go ahead and finish up the eyes now. I am going to do my normal routine you guys know i'm going to take my small little detailer brush and i'm going to go in with smooth on the outer edge which is the darkest shade and then i'm going to stay with a matte i'm going to use calm which is this shade up here on the inner third And then just to see what it looks like, I wanna put this shade low key in my inner corner. I don't see that it really did that much. It's kinda of like a pinky, that's why. I see it a little bit, but it's not super blinding. I think it kinda of helps tie in with the blush, okay. Now, we're going to try something different because I really wanted to use this Marc Jacobs highliner, but I want to use the berry shade one that I showed you guys. So hopefully you will be able to see it with this makeup look. I was going to do more of a neutral look for this just to make sure you could see it, but here we are. It's crazy because it almost looks purple, but I wonder if I put it on with a brown, maybe would it look more berry? Definitely surprised that it showed up though. So that's what we have for the liner. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other one off camera and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and finished my liner and I put mascara on. I am gonna put falsies on, but I wanted to show you guys, in case you didn't watch my last video, go watch it. This is the Morphe Malibu Lashes. I found these at Marshalls. I am gonna put these on, but I just wanted to show them to you before I did. For my lips, I don't have a lip liner. So I'm just gonna use my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3, and it's just a light brown. 
And then I'm debating on lipstick because I have, which I think I've used this already. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starfish Liquid Lipstick. I'm pretty sure I've used this, but I just got this Coffee and Sigs MAC Lipstick. And I kind of want to use that one. So this is what it looks like. I was worried it wasn't going to be. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to go put on my lashes and I'm going to put some clothes on since I'm about to film another video and finish up and tell you guys what I thought about everything. All right, guys, I'm back. This is the final look. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. You can see a little bit of that pink on the inner corner. So I like how this turned out. I'm gonna do a quick rundown of the products that I used. I was going to use this Bare Minerals Dew Mist. I did pick this up at Marshall's, but my face is dewy enough. Like. I'm shining, so I didn't want to spray this on top of everything else, so I just used my all-nighter spray. The lashes, I love them. They are definitely a little longer, I think, than what I normally use, but they're not too thick, so I like how these look. Like, it's drama, but it's not crazy. I'm gonna have to use this sponge again because honestly, I don't know, like, I've never had my powder just sit on top of it like this. And that is why it was coming off on my face all blotchy. So I'm going to try it again, but I don't know about this. And I don't know if it's just because it's a cheap brand I found in Marshalls or if it's because that's how the velvet sponges are. Y'all comment below and let me know if you've used them before, if you've had any issues with them. As far as everything else, real quick, this NARS Valley Powder, very dark, very cool, will be great to contour with. NARS powders are amazing. This Uoma Beauty Contour Stick Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick, this is the shade Honey Honey. This one, I don't know why I thought this wasn't dark enough for me. It is, and I like, I love it. I love it, I love it. Definitely gonna keep it, and now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the other one, but I'm gonna keep it either way, I'm gonna try. This e.l.f. Opposites Attract Palette, I had been wanting this since it first came out, and I was so happy I found it. I think I paid like four or five dollars for it. Y'all saw how the shadows work. This was a very easy, very quick eyeshadow look. I like how it looks so far. I don't know how long they're going to last, if they're going to fade. But initial impressions, this palette is good. This Becca Blurring Powder, the Soft Light Blurring Powder that I used under my eyes. Again, I'm going to have to use this again with some other stuff that I normally use to see how it works. Because with that sponge or with that concealer, I don't know, but... Y'all saw what I had to go back and fix. So that's a maybe. This Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer, love. Love, I'm glad I got a small size. This is gonna go in my travel bag and the full size will be in my everyday makeup drawer. This Bare Minerals Blush, you know I love them. I have another one like this that's darker and more reddish berry. So I was happy to find a cooler tone pink. Love this. This NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I like it. I mean, I don't, I feel like it kind of mattified, but didn't make me look dry. So I will be using this more. This Accomplice powder, the Marc Jacobs powder, I have used this before. I know I have to be careful with it, but I think that it makes everything look super hydrated. Like my skin just feels plump and I feel like it looks healthy which is not the norm for me because it's normally dry. So I like the sheen that this gives. You just have to have a really light hand. The foundation, I'm going to have to wear it. I'm going to put it on through a wear test another time, not tonight. But I like how it applied. I like how it didn't dry down. It's a good medium coverage. I would need to, medium to full. I would need to color correct with this. But in terms of the coverage, in terms of the shade match, I think it's, it's a little dark, but that's how I like my foundation. So I'll keep you posted on that. But initial impression, I like it. This eyeliner definitely caught me by surprise. It looks purple more than berry, but I didn't think it was going to be dark enough for this look. And it is. So I'm going to wear this more because I really liked it. I like the applicator. I got a sharp line. 
and I just it's it's nice. I hope it lasts long. I don't know if it's waterproof or what. We'll see, but definitely gonna use this more. The lipstick, love it. I love this shade. It's a nice cool tone brown. It's not drying. It looks more brown now on my lips than when I swatched it, and it looked kind of mauvey purple brown. So I don't know. Either way, love how it looks. I think it complements my look. And then the last thing out of the products that I got from Marshalls is this Blowout Brow Gel by Uoma Beauty. I mean, it's a brow gel. Can't complain about it. Is it anything like super revolutionary? I need to have it. I don't know about that. I may try to fill in my brows just with this and then just darken my tail a little bit and see if it makes that much of a difference. But overall, it's all right. It's a brow gel. This... I, again, I'm, I need to use it some more. I do like how it looks. I like how my highlighter looks. You can see the duochrome, which is exactly what it's supposed to be. I just didn't like applying it straight on my face and I didn't have the right brush. I need a stiffer brush, I think, to be able to apply it. So I'll use it again to see how it works. But either way, I like how it came out. I was just worried about it picking up my foundation and my concealer. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like how this look turned out, please give this video a thumbs up. These first impressions are rough because if it goes bad, <laughs> you're stuck trying to make it work. I'm glad everything came together. You guys saw how the products went. Comment, let me know what you liked, what you think about the look, and I appreciate you guys staying with me till the end of the video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.